All right, hi everybody and welcome back. Ryan here today. So uh, my last video I did about uh, buying a new truck, um, I mentioned a kind of a little teaser about um, Cummins info out there, free information direct from Cummins uh, as far as service data, parts data, all that good stuff, all for free out there. All you gotta do is sign up for an account, which um, I'm almost embarrassed to admit, I didn't know about it um, until a week or two ago. I was actually doing a job for a customer on a uh, ISX 15 CM2350 model uh, with a, had to put a front uh, gear housing cover gasket on, which is pretty common on those engines. And it's very, I mean, it's a $75 gasket, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's extremely labor intensive because you got to pull all the gears off the front of the engine. You have to, to retime all that stuff and you put it back on. Um, uh, scissor gears, uh, backlash on the gears and all that type of stuff with adjustable, adjustable gears, idler gears and all that. Um, so I was looking for information and I was actually online and I actually found this from a forum of all places because Cummins isn't like exactly advertising that they're giving this information out there for free. And like I said, I, I didn't know about it. So I actually was on a forum looking for uh, backlash specs and torque specs and all that. And a gentleman that had posted on there said, I'll oh, go to, to this website and to Cummins and you can get tech manuals, all that stuff for free. So out here in my shop, which is a total disaster, which we've kind of cleared a space here because if you guys are watching me, I know I bought a uh, 40, 450 that I'm putting the new V10 Triton in, which I got here. Um, so I kind of set up a makeshift workbench here with my laptop. Um, and I've actually got a set of Cummins ISX X15 CM2350 X101 manuals here. Uh, this top book is actually standard rep uh, repair times or SRTs. Which this book here, if you go to a dealer or a, or a shop uh, for most cases, this has all the time. Like if you're going to put a water pump in, this pump here tells you how much time it's going to take. And then it has all the subsidiary jobs that have to go with it. So this book here cost you, I think, 50 bucks what I paid for this, which gives you all the repair times, standard repair times for, for a uh, engine or truck or whatever, um, depending on what you're working on. So this is... These are, I should say, proper English. This is the set of service manuals, three volumes for an ISX 15 CM2350. Three books. Pretty good size. Um, these manuals are $150 uh, plus shipping, uh, which isn't um, coming from the service maintenance world. That is relatively cheap, in my opinion, to get the actual manuals. I mean, like some Caterpillar manuals, I mean, you can be up into thousands of dollars for. But all this information I have in here, you can get for 100% free online through Cummins. Everything I have here, you can get completely free anytime you want. You can print everything. On top of that, you can get uh, parts data, parts diagrams, all that stuff. Print that stuff out. You can actually create a, uh, a pick list or a shopping list of all the parts that you want. And print those out. And then you can actually send it, uh, email it to a Cummins dealer or a Kenworth dealer or whoever you're working with. Um, you can create that list into an email format and send it to somebody else with everything that you put on your list through parts. Um, and like I said, it, it's I like it, it's mind blowing what the, what Cummins is actually giving away for free here because I know like like Caterpillar, John Deere, um, and and so and so and everybody else in Detroit. Um, you can't get this information for free out here. They don't want you to have this information because they want you to take it to somebody where you have to pay them to get your work done. So for an owner operator, um, like I said, I'm, I'm not saying Cummins are the best engine in the world. I mean, they have their faults here and there. Um, but for them to give this information out, I mean, this set of manuals online where you can print out exactly what you need for free is this is, is unbelievable. I mean, especially for a small fleet, a uh, small shop like ourselves, uh, small owner operator um, and I know in my last video when I was talking about buying a new truck I mean I would go with a Cummins just for the simple fact of um, dealer network um, electronic tool access is a lot more uh, freeware or shareware I guess you could say um, it's not so proprietary like you guys know if you're working with a Packard MX-13 uh, you have to have Davy software pretty much exclusively I mean besides uh, OTR is one of them that we'll get into their to Davy or to Packard. Um, Detroit is is what it is. Um, but Cummins, you can pretty much go anywhere. You can go if you got a if you got a Kenworth or a Freightliner, 
with a Cummins in it, I mean, you can go to a Volvo dealer, you can go to a Kenworth dealer, you can go to a Peterbilt dealer, and so on and so on and so on. Everybody sells Cummins. Um, but so I'm going to get on my laptop here and I'm going to show you guys the whole process of signing up for uh, Cummins QuickServe. It's free. All you need is an email address, and then you're allowed to add five serial numbers of whatever machines you have. Even if you're in the power generation, you can put in the serial number of your unit, uh, and you can get access to that engine. If you've got a truck engine, you can put in the serial number, get access to that. And like I said, it allows you to add five serial numbers for free. And then, I don't know, I'm not going to, it is what it is, but I guess if you had more than five serial numbers, maybe you could use your spouse's email address and sign up for another account and get five more serial numbers. So... Um, but once you go over five serial numbers, it asks you, there's like a subscription type of thing, whatnot. So, um, but like I said, as far as the, like the CM2350s, 2250s, they're a lot of the same things. So, I mean, a lot of the same processes, I mean, or the service procedures are going to be the same for the most part. Um, so, I mean, if you, like I said, once you put in a serial number for a CM2350, it's going to be pretty much the same for all the 2350s. If you put in one for an 871, it's pretty much going to be the same and, and so on and so on. So you really wouldn't need, um, if you're a small shop or something, uh, you really wouldn't need to get that paid account for the most part unless you're working on all kinds of, you know, B series and, you know, truck engine, little pickup truck engines and stuff like that. What's in like the Dodge pickup trucks. Um, but anyways, um, I'm going to get in here. We're going to switch to my computer screen here and I'm going to show you guys from start to stop uh, or, you know, access what you need to do to get access to this stuff. Okay, so we're on the computer here. You're gonna go to Google and type in Cummins QuickServe search. You're gonna go down to create an account. And up here in the left, under information, you're gonna go to create account. And then it's gonna give you a couple of options here because it's gonna have like a store, publication store, as you see up here. So we're going to go down to the free subscription, this 9 million, whatever it is. Um, so you see some other options here, one week subscription for $50, one month, 200, year for 1200. You don't need to do that. Um, so go to this one, add that to the cart. Oh, it's already, I already had it added to my cart because I already went through this. So we're going to go to my cart. We're going to proceed to checkout and we're going to go to checkout since I already have an account, but we're going to go through this anyways. So here's where I'm going to kind of leave you guys. So you're going to fill out all this information, and you don't have to put it. It's free, as you see here. So you don't have to put a credit card or anything else in. I don't, I don't think I did when I set this up. And then you're going to go through the whole process here and go through and check out. Then it'll ask you. You'll create an account and all that type of stuff. So once you've done this whole process here, you're actually, after you do that, you're going to go to my login, Cummins and all that, uh, and sign in to QuickServe Online, which um, I'm here at that page. After you go through the whole process, I'm going to log in. All right, so now you're going to come into the QuickServe Online portal here. Over here, the first thing you're going to have to do over here on the left is add a serial number. So I have a customer serial number in here for a ISX15 CM2350. Um, after you do that, uh, so if you want any type of service information, come up here and go to service, and it's gonna bring up all the information for that serial number. So we can go in here and look at wiring diagrams. And it has all, all the wiring diagrams that you need, so. Try to zoom in, which I'm not in the shop here, so my internet isn't that strong as it usually is. And like I said, this is just going to give you common side stuff, so it's not going to give you, you know, customer side or OEM side. Like if you have a Kenworth or Peterbilt or Freightliner or whatever, it's not going to give you that stuff, but it's going to give you everything, all your connections and everything off of the common side. So we'll... Um, get out of this, which we just click this off. Now we're gonna to go to the service manual. So you guys recall I showed this big stack of service manuals. You can get all of that stuff for free right here. So we just did a, you have engine disassembly, engine assembly, um, fuel system, injectors, everything is here. So we're gonna go into doing a disassembly. And I actually had somebody ask me about a um, 
oil pump, which I haven't got back to them yet. So if you're watching, I apologize for that. Um, but I'm going to show you how to get the information that you're looking for as far as shimming the oil pump or whatever, um, if I can find it. Which that would actually probably be so. It probably would, it'd probably be on the assembly. Um, but anyways, we'll we'll go to that gear housing, that front uh, gear housing cover I just did. So you click on that, and it's going to show you everything you need to do to disassemble that, and it's going to show you. I am in. I want to make sure I'm in disassembly here. Yeah, we're in disassembly. Okay. So I just want to make sure I wasn't in assembly. So it's going to tell you all the stuff you need to do to disassemble that. And I thought this gave you... And so this page here, so it's telling you all that stuff. Um, you can actually, you can print this. So I can go up here and print that. And it creates a... PDF file that you can print for that procedure to remove that cover. Um, and I thought this, um, so we actually have to go close this, which I should have went back. This usually gives you like everything you'd have to do to go through that process as well. Cause there's, there's, that just shows you how to remove that cover. Uh, let me go back. Because it gives you like hyperlinks here, so that's what I'm going to try to try to explain. Gear cover upper. No, this one doesn't. So we'll go back to the assembly here, and it actually, I believe, it gives you everything. I said I'm just, I'm kind of doing this real quick here, so it, uh, for time's sake. Okay, gear housing front. Okay, I believe when you print this, it will show, I, I, I printed this stuff out for this gear housing cover, and I thought that it actually told you everything else that you would have to do, like in sequence, and you could, you know, look up that other stuff. Um, let me go back here. Sorry. Like I said, I'm just trying to find an example on here to show you guys to where it shows. You. It, it, I thought it gave me hyperlinks before. Um, crankshaft install. So and this gives you like uh, you know uh, measurements for the crankshaft, throws, and all that type of stuff. Everything to look for, torque specs, and like I said, you can print all this stuff out. Um, which is very nice, so that way you don't get your manuals there. You can just print it out for when you're using it, and then you throw them away afterwards. So it's, uh, okay, here we go. So, finishing steps. So it tells you to install the main bearings, and install the block stiffener, install the lubricating oil pump. So it gives you these hyperlinks here, which I was trying to find for that gear cover, which I'm pretty sure it does have too, but I'm just not finding it right now, because since I'm on video, um, so you can actually, okay, so you're going down this list and it tells you all these other steps you need to do. Then you can click on that other step and it brings up, tells you everything, service tools, gives you a part number for the service tool if you need that, um, which my, like I said, I had an uh, email, which I haven't responded to yet, so I apologize for that if you're watching, um, to where it was talking about oil pump installation. So this gives you everything. It tells you what tools you need and all the steps to install an oil pump right here. So it actually says something about the shims right here, mounting caps, oil pump shims if equipped, uh, so, and acceptable valve lash and all that type of stuff. So, 
So it gives you the whole step right here, and then there may be some other subsidiary steps down here at the bottom as well. So I mean, and this is this a wealth of information, which is very invaluable for a mechanic or a do-it-yourselfer. Like I said, because a lot of manufacturers out there, they don't give this information out for free. So I mean, I can't believe I'm even looking at this right now for free, um, with with no subscription or anything else. Not even not even giving a credit card number. So, um, and, and again, right here we have finishing steps. We got uh, lubricating oil suction tube, oil pan. It actually gives you a procedure for the oil pan, so we can go look at that. You can print this out. So you can just go step by step. It tells you uh, how to remove it and clean and inspect, where you need to put um, your, uh, when, when you're going back to install it, where you need to put silicone in there, which on the corners of these Cummins pans where the, the front front car, rear cover and the flywheel housing cover, you got to put silicone on those. And then it gives you a torque and a torquing bolt, uh, bolt torque pattern here as well. Um, so you have all that information right in front of you for free. So um, I think I pretty much beat the dead horse on the wealth of information in, in this part of the uh, the program. So now we're going to close all this out and go back to our home screen here, which we already looked at this. So, okay, so we're back here at the home screen for uh, quick service. So we're going to go to parts which you can use QuickServe online or you can go to parts.cummins. Like if you read right here, for 2015 and newer, they've moved everything to parts.cummins.com. Um, but I think if you have something older using the uh, QuickServe online, which is the red button, they, they have better diagrams, I think, than parts.cummins.com uh, uh, parts does. But we'll go to parts.cummins.com. Now I'll just show you that. Um, because, like I said, you can actually add to a parts list and all that type of stuff here. And like I said, I'm out in the shop here, so I'm, I'm actually surprised that I have Wi-Fi this far out. All right. For some reason, that doesn't want to load up, so I'm going to go to QuickServe Online. Uh, we can go to system. We're gonna go to system view. So I'm gonna go to base engine here, and we're gonna look at the uh, cylinder block, front gear cover, and this is why I like the quick serve online part. So maybe the other the parts will line up. Um, but this is this is actually the, that front cover, which isn't the actual cover that I was looking for. So I was calling Cummins, I got actually called Cummins and a Kenworth dealer and was asking for the front gear cover, which this is not the cover that I was looking for. I told them I wanted the front gear housing cover to the block and um, they kept telling me, oh, that you got the right one, this is the right one. So I mean, it's hard to find a good parts people these days uh, for some reason, but they kept sending me this one, which is like a, like a rubber strip. And um, that actually wasn't the one that I was looking for. So you can see that here. So now if you look at that number two, I can go down here and look at that part number, which is a 3687007, which I remember that number because that's the wrong one that they gave me. So now I can go back and I can print this if I wanted to with that part number. Let me close this up. But to actually find the one that I was looking for, I think I had to go to the cylinder block. I don't think, the, yeah, there we go. And this one didn't give me the picture. So let's go back again. Okay, so here was the one that I was actually looking for. This number 33, this gasket, 75 bucks. And that's the one that goes in between this housing cover and the block. And that's the ones that is, that's, it's kind of a problem with these Cummins engines, the ISXs, um, because it starts leaking and it looks pretty bad. So, but that other cover that we were looking at there a minute ago, that's the one that goes on the front here, which isn't really a problem for the most part. So, so now if you have this access and you're having trouble, like, oh, they're, they're saying this is the right part and you know it isn't because it seems the price is off or whatever, you have the option to go in here and find the part yourself. Okay, that's exactly what I'm looking for. 
So now I can go down to number 33. And now instead of going through, jumping through hoops and everything, I can just call a Cummins dealer or Kenworth dealer or Peterbilt or whoever and say, okay, I got a Cummins part number here, gear housing gasket, number 368-5510. And they're going to say it's $74.98 or whatever. We either got it or we don't got it. So, um, so it simplifies things and you know what you're looking for so you can set eyes on it and it makes it that much easier. Because like I said, I that other cover that I just showed you with that, that string gasket basically, that rubber little rubber seal, they swore to me that was the right gasket and for what I was doing, I, I explained to them it was the gear cover to the block, not the gear cover, the little tin cover to the gear housing, you know, the cover or housing. So, um, so it, you get a lot of false hope when they say, okay, I got that in stock, and then you get there and it's not the right one. So with this, you can actually look your own parts up, get the part number, and then you can call them and they can look it up. And then you know for sure it's they either have it or they don't have it or you got the right price or not. Because like I said, um, that other gasket was like 20 bucks and this one was like $75, which isn't a huge deal in this world, um, you know, in the trucking business and, and mechanic and business, um, you know, 75 bucks, it's 50 bucks difference. But it is when you call, when you have a customer and say, okay, they have it in stock. And then when you actually get everything apart and you go up and get the, the part and it's the wrong part, and then they say, okay, it's going to take two days to get it. You're going to have a customer, you're going to be frustrated because you thought you were going to get this job done. And then you're going to have a customer that you told you're going to have it done today or tomorrow. And now you got to wait two days just to get the part. So, so I like to lay eyes on exactly what I'm working on. So, um, but like I said, I like the, uh, the quick start of online because it actually gives you pretty good diagrams. Let me see if the, the Cummins parts app, it isn't logging. I don't know if there's a problem with their site or something right now, but that is a, let me reload it. Okay, now it's actually coming up. So, um, so now we, we're okay. Now we're on to the parts.cummins.com here. So uh, we can get a system view, and this has these little pictures. So I believe for that same item that we were looking at, we go to the base engine, front gear cover, and this one doesn't give us. It doesn't give us like you can go to view graphics. And it says they've been removed for some reason. So uh, the, the quick serve online is a lot better looking at parts. This one doesn't give you any diagrams. It gives you a little picture right here. Um, I can look at that, that seal. We go to parts details. And it shows you a picture of it. So you can kind of get an idea what it looks like, which that was, like I said, the wrong one. Um, then you can go to availability and you can put in, I think you can, we'll look at that real quick. Um, detail. I don't know what that is. Um, but you can add this part number. It actually on the bottom here, um, on some parts there'll be another block over here and it'll tell if it's been superseded and it actually, it usually gives you the most updated um, part number to where you can give that part number to Cummins. But you can add this part number to your pick list. So I've added it to my pick list. Now I've got, I've, I've got all these other parts still in my pick list from that last job that I did. Um, I had an accessory drive, which is your air compressor, gasket, oil pan gasket, and all that type of stuff. And here it tells you if it's been superseded, um, which some of these have. Um, so now, once you, you just keep adding this stuff to your list, and then I can, I can email this list. So I can put in my email address, and I can send it to somebody at Kenworth, I can send it to somebody at Cummins. And then it sends you a copy of it as well. So you can send this list directly to whoever you're talking to. And so if you get a list of 20 parts, rather, rather than rattling off all those parts to these people and, and having a mistake, if you give them a wrong, if they mishear or you miss say it, a wrong digit or something, they've got it right here in black and white and you can send it right to them. And it makes a nice little email. So which um, I have, I might have a copy on my email, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, so this is this huge guys i mean if you got if you're a cummins owner i mean you have the power to do everything yourself so i'm going to get off uh, i mean i think i pretty well beat all this down here i mean you guys can go ahead and get an account get in if you're a cummins owner get in here and play around and all that type of stuff and, and it, it's a it's a huge amount of of support and knowledge and all that in my opinion um that's that's invaluable i mean you can't uh most companies like other John Deere, Cat and all that, they're charging, you know, 1500 bucks a year for this type of access, you know. So it's 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 really nice that Cummins is putting this out here. But like I said, they're not advertising it to anybody. Um, so I actually, like I said, found it in a forum. Um, so with that, I'm going to get off the computer here and we'll, we'll wrap this up. 
All right, guys, so I know we went over a lot of information there. You know, it might be monotonous and boring, but like I'm, I'm really, I get excited about this stuff when, when you have that much information for free to where um, I can put any serial number in up to five for free. Um, like I said, if I'm working on an 871 or a 2250, which I have, or a 2350, um, it, it's, it's awesome that you have this information because like I struggle with other stuff finding torque specs, um, and like Cummins and Cat, they like to use torque angles where you might torque it to 100 foot pounds and torque 90 or 180 degrees or whatever. Um, so that's, and this, this gives you all that information for free, plus that parts data to where if you're working with, a, if you're a small shop like us, a small service provider, and you're promising a customer or something, and, and, and then like I said, it's, it's the worst thing in the world when you, when you call somebody, you tell them what you're looking for, a parts person, because uh, quite honestly, no offense to the parts guys out there, 75% um, of the ones I deal with like suck. I mean, I've, I've called three, like with this gear housing cover I did uh, recently, I called three different places and trying to get, uh, like I said, I told them exactly what I'm looking for, the gear housing to the block gasket. And they all kept telling me, okay, this is the gasket you need. And I had it in my hand and it's a rubber strip. And I'm like, I don't think this is the right one because um, this is the first time I've done one of these uh, gear housing covers or care housing gasket to the block, uh, you know, deals. Um, and it's, so I was telling my customer, okay, I got, I've got the, I've got the gasket here. And like I said, it wasn't the right one. Um, so if I can actually get in here and look at it and get the part number myself, I mean, that, that's a huge thing, uh, to have that access. And like I said, if you're an owner operator, you're looking for torque specs, service procedures, um, this will tell you how to adjust your, your engine brake on your truck, on an ISX-15, whatever you have. Um, anything you do, it's all right here. I mean, all these manuals I have right here are in here besides that, that service time. But um, So, I mean, and like I said, you can print them out, throw them away afterwards. Um, and like I said, I've been on this now for, I think, three weeks. So it, it's, uh, it's, it's really good information for free out there. So, I mean, you, you can't beat it. Um, and that's another reason, like I said, I'm a Cummins guy in trucks anyways, uh, because uh, the amount of dealers out there, uh, parts network, and availability to hook up with different electronic tools that's not so proprietary like Packard, Detroit, um, and et cetera, et cetera are. So anyways, guys, I'm going to pretty well end it there. We're going to put a link in here to this uh, page right here where you can register. So you guys can check it out. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with Cummins, so I'm with, I probably should have put that as a <laughs> disclaimer out. Um, they're not, like I said, I found this stuff myself. And like I said, they're not like advertising free access. I mean, you, you look for torque specs. And like I said, I just stumbled upon this through a uh, forum where a guy said, yeah, get on QuickServe and you can find this and that. And um, like I said, it's amazing the amount of information that's put out here for free. So um, like I said, I, I, I can't talk about it enough. <laughs> like I said, I'm not trying to sell Cummins. I, I'm not... Don't have anything to do with them, but like I said, it, it's free information out here, guys. If you're trying to do stuff yourself, um, like I said, you can get on here and get it what you need. So, anyways, guys, um, uh, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're always putting new stuff out. Uh, always got some projects going on. Um, hit that bell for the updates and uh, give us a thumbs up, like the video. And like I said, if you don't like it, then give us the two thumbs down or three or four or five, whatever. So if you don't like us that much, so that way we get the point and we'll do something else. But anyways, uh, we hope you give us a thumbs up. Um, like I said, stay tuned. We appreciate all the support. Thanks for all the new subscribers and uh, all the fan loyalty and all that. Um, and like I said, we'll keep putting it out and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.